Hi there, this is Kim Forsyth. I'm one of the workflow consultants. In this video, we're going to see the differences between direct edit, manual checkout, and read only when managing a file in CCH Access document, or if your firm is using the on-premise version, ProSystem FX document. Once a file is stored in document, you may need to look at the file or edit the file and add the updated file back into document. While this sounds like a lot of steps, it's pretty seamless. I can look up a list of files for an entity on my home dashboard. Remember, customizing the home dashboard allows you to centralize content in the different modules of CCH Access. I can get to the same information if I was in Document Central. I already did my lookup for Don Addison and I see a list of files. I need to review the May 2014 expenses and may need to make some edits to the file. If I double click on the file it's in direct edit mode and the status is automatically changed to checked out. When I close the file, document will prompt me to check the file back in. To save time and clicks, I should set the check in to be automatic in my user options. If a file is checked out, no one else can check out the file preventing editing conflicts. I can also manually check out the file by using the right mouse click menu. Manually checking out a file also allows me to send an email alert to other staff members or allow me to check the file out for an extended period of time. Unlike the direct edit method, I am not required to open the file right away. I can open it later by browsing my computer for the drafts folder in my documents. Whether I direct edit a file or manually check out a file, it is stored in a drafts folder in my documents. If I didn't make any edits, I can cancel the checkout when I close the file or use the right mouse click menu. If someone else has a file checked out, I cannot direct edit or check out the file. I can only preview the file by using my right mouse click menu. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. We hope you find it helpful and informative. 